Police say this is where the female victim was attacked after leaving her apartment. A that's House committee has asked the executive branch, that's the president and his cabinet. As you just heard, after this week's winter wallop, another blizzard now on the way, set to drop between Police five. say this is where the driver's car stalled, right on the tracks, just as a train Now, was according to the sheriff's department, the woman was last seen here filling up at this gas station. Police say Good she evening, was I'm Maria Garcia. If you are traveling in the next 48 hours, call in the news. Authorities have arrested a man after he was caught with several pounds of heroin taped to his legs. Dozens of flights have been delayed or canceled following a massive blizzard in the Northeast. Many travelers are- So when most of us get in our cars, we put on our seatbelts, right? Because number one, it's the law and because it helps keep us safe. She was also well, seen speaking to a man on surveillance video. Well, that man is now wanted. And finally tonight, three local residents are suing the state, claiming Freedom Park- After a major not. icy snowfall, especially on these tall buildings in the city, one of the biggest issues becomes this with just Small seconds to spare. Reporting downtown, I'm Maria Garcia. Chaos at a local restaurant this morning. Three people were hurt when a pickup truck crashed into a Hardee's restaurant as patrons were quietly enjoying their breakfast. I was uh, sitting there at the, at the, just walking into the front and I seen the man pulling through. Well, he, when he come, turned into the parking lot, he didn't even stop. He ran right through the window. Richard Eddy says it was like a scene from a movie, except it was all too real. He was working the register at the Hardee's on Hampshire Pike at 8 this morning when he heard a loud crash, looked up, and found himself in the middle of a nightmare. No, this is never, nothing has ever happened like this before. The truck rammed into a table where a grandfather identified as Roy Potts and his two grandsons, ages 5 and 7, were sitting. He was just screaming. We got the other co worker got the little one out the youngest one, but the bigger one was he was still pinned between the truck, the bumper, and the table, so he couldn't get out. Paramedics arrived at the scene and were able to free the trapped seven-year-old from underneath the truck. Miraculously, he only suffered some cuts on his legs and was airlifted to the medical center for treatment. His brother and grandfather escaped with only minor injuries and were treated at the scene. As far as the driver, he was not injured, and police say it looks like he just made a big mistake. Uh, it looks like when he pulled up to the parking space, he didn't hit the gas. He may have hit the gas. He, may, he didn't hit the brake. He hit the gas pedal by accident, and he went through over the wall. Restaurant employees are still in shock, but they're trying to get things cleaned up. Everyone is happy, though, that all got out okay. And we're just finding out that the restaurant has reopened for business. As far as the driver, no charges have been filed at this time. Officials say they are still investigating. Back to you. A relaxing fishing day takes a dramatic turn when a local man makes a gruesome discovery. Now he says fishing may never be the same for him again. Stefan Terwilliger says he got the surprise of his life, but it was definitely not a good one. I come down here to go fish and then I've walked up on the body. Other than that, that's it. Terwilliger was stunned with the disturbing find, a man's body washed up at the Rock Harbor Marina on 600 Robertson Road. Terwilliger, who lives just blocks away from the marina, says the body was badly decomposed. Well, they find out whatever went on with it. You know, if it's a homicide or maybe I'd had a heart attack or something, I have no idea. Investigators are now trying to identify the victim while the medical examiner determines the official cause of death. Back to you. Lots of commotion downtown tonight. That's after a major pedestrian accident in the heart of the city. There you see the paramedics on scene. Now, according to police, a male driver lost control behind the wheel and slammed into four pedestrians as they were trying to cross over Broadway. It happened just before 7 p.m. The victims, two men and two women, were rushed to University Medical Center. All four victims sustained injury. Um, two of the victims sustained serious but not life-threatening injuries, and they're still being treated at Vanderbilt right now. Charges against the driver are pending. Police continue investigating the accident. Back to you.